Welcome yet again to Multilingual Zotero, an experimental variant of the main Zotero client that is designed to serve the needs of scholars working across multiple languages and scripts. In this session, we'll be looking at duplicates management using a data set provided to us by the Hague Center for Strategic Studies. The data set contains entries in several languages and is enriched with multilingual metadata. This database contains a large number of duplicates as well, as we can see by scrolling down a bit. We could just delete these duplicates, but if we do that, we will lose things and break things. Items belong to collections, and if we delete an item, it will be lost from any collections in which it is present. Items are also linked to documents, and if we delete an item, that will break the links in documents that have cited it. So instead of deleting, we want to uh, merge so that collections and links are preserved. In the multilingual client, any newly added content is any newly added content is flagged with a yellow highlight. So if we duplicate an item, we'll see that it also receives the yellow highlight on the newly created item. The yellow highlight is persistent so that it turns up everywhere in collections and in the word processor plugin. The only way to clear the yellow highlight is by visiting the duplicates view, which looks like this. Items are color-coded in the duplicates view in green, yellow, and red. Green items are items that have no duplicate partners, and we can clear them in a batch operation. Selecting duplicates, mark all green, unmark all green items, we'll see that the highlight is clear. Among the remaining entries, the yellow items are those that have at least one match partner that is a trusted, non-new item. We can use the context menu to merge items, uh, to merge items with their uh, master items using use existing partner. Um, so before we do a merge, let's have a look at our sample items, and we see that we have this yellow item that we have just duplicated. And we'll use that for a test here. Take the yellow item, select, uh, right, take the yellow item, sorry, revisit the duplicates view, find our yellow item, the perspective, and then we're going to merge that with its existing partner. Now the yellow hide highlight is cleared, actually it's, the item's been deleted, but we see that the master item has been added to the collection. Then if we delete the trash, we'll find that the item disappears completely, and it's still there in the collection. So that's all working very nicely. You'll also notice um, that the duplicates view is automatically cancelled when we visit another group or collection. Uh, it can also be cancelled explicitly via the library context menu. The other issue that we need to deal with is document links. And we have a sample document here that has two citations in it. The citations are linked to yellow items, where they should be. We'll check that. Yes, that's yellow. And the other item is also linked to a yellow item. Yes. So these two are newly added items that have been linked into a document. Instead of, if we deleted these yellow items, then we would end up with broken links. But let's try doing this through a merge operation instead. So let's open the duplicates view. And then we have some work to do here. This will take a few minutes, people. Please hang on. Uh, use existing partner. Use existing partner. And here is
is one that occurred in a document as well, so we use existing partner, and we'll carry on. At present, there isn't a batch operation for this. These have to be handled one by one. In the future, maybe we may look at ways of making this work with a batch operation. Now, the red tags, uh, the red highlights, are for items that have no uh, match partner, which is known to be a trusted non-duplicate. So we need to select one of the items to use as the master and then the others can be merged into it. So if we carry on down, we can clean up our list. There we are. And the last one. Alright, so now if we cancel the view, we'll go back to the display of full items, and this database now is minus a few of the duplicates that we had. Now we return to our bibliography, and you'll remember that this, that these citations here uh, were two yellow items which have now gone away. And just to be sure that things are working correctly, let's have a look at the trash. And the items are still lurking there, so we'll empty the trash and make them go away. And then return to our main library view so that that's all visible return here, and now when we hit refresh, we see that the document still works. Um, the items that are... Um, so what's happened here is that the client has remembered the document IDs of the items that were merged away. And those document IDs will be reserved for a period of two years by the client. And any time the document is reconnected, uh, to Zotero, as we have just done with the refresh, uh, the document IDs will be updated into the document, and it's good for another two years. Uh, this is meant to handle what may be a common use case of, for example, an annual report, which is dusted off once a year and set up against a Zotero database for revision. So that's the story with duplicates management. Those are the basic features. There may be some changes to the interface over time as we work out ways to make this a little bit easier to manage. But those are the basic facilities, and that's the basic concept. Um, here at the end, we would like to thank the research group at the Hague Center for Strategic Studies for taking the plunge and adopting multilingual Zotero for use in the study. Uh, we would also like to extend personal thanks to all members of the project team who stayed with us through the early development phase of multilingual Zotero and were patient with us uh, during the debugging that was necessary in the final phase. Uh, it is largely thanks to their efforts and patience that the tool works as well as it does today. And that's it. Thank you very much for joining us.